Hey, what's up, Merch University? Hope you guys are having a great day. Let's do this merch research episode two, and let's we're gonna be working on Pinterest today. But uh, of course, let's start here at Merch U Designs. Come up here to niches, niches, whatever you want to call them. And um, yesterday we did backpacking, and we found all kinds of crazy stuff backpacking. So we are gonna look through here and. Um, find something else we could be making so let's see here we got baking uh baseball beach beer bikers bikers biking billiards um let's see here here's really a popular one and it's billiards i sold a lot of shirts with billiards so let's just do that one so um, and actually today we are going to go to Pinterest. That's where we're going to try to research today in Pinterest. Just to try it out. So let's type in billiards. If I can spell it. How about billiards room decor? That, that came up right away. So I'm just going to go ahead and type it in and see what there is. Um, oh, this is kind of cool. It's the billiards patent set. I wonder if these are, um, if you can, um, I don't know, but not buy if you can like, these must be available, maybe, um, I'm thinking, hmm, I'm thinking where they got them at. I wonder if they got them um, maybe from a public domain place, but that'd be kind of cool to put on a t-shirt. I think that, I think people would like that. That's just, that's just something to think about. Okay, let's just go back um, to Pinterest here. Um... Trying to think of, find some stuff here. Oh, there's a good one. Um, quit talking and start chalking. That's a great one, actually. Um, I mean, maybe you could you could go off of that, you know, do something with chalking and uh, make up your own, you know, maybe like, I don't know. You just you can just try to make something up and you know make it rhyme and make it kind of funny. You know, quit talking, start talking. Maybe you can come up with your own phrase. You know, we don't know if this phrase is uh, uh, trademarked or not, but it's it's a good start. You know, some place to to start off and um, start trying to make your own shirts. You know, um, if you do, even if you don't know a lot about pool or billiards or whatever. Um, so that that's a good one. Quit talking and start talking. So we'll have to remember that one. And let's see here. Um, let's just keep going down here. You know, this is just, we're just researching. You know, we're just looking for ideas that we can go off. You know, hopefully we can find some original ideas that are not on any T-shirt anywhere. And, you know, we have a better chance of uh, making sales, you know. For those about to rack, we salute you. That's kind of cool. Let's look at that one about to rack we salute you that's kind of cool you know it's uh gives you some some ideas rack it and crack it all right um i only play pool on days that end in y okay that's every day um let's see here rack them up um let's see here what else there is i play both uh who wants action I'm a pool player. What's your super superpower? I know you. I I think that the, the uh, what your superpower is trademarked actually, so I wouldn't do that. Or I would look it up to make sure. Um, it's a mind game, right here. That one's kind of cool. Um, how many times have we heard the tip is awful? The cloth, the cloth is slow. I miss um, Q two times. The balls are dirty. I had too much to drink. My is dirty. I haven't slept in days. The Q is too heavy. It rolled off two inches. Um, see that ball skid. The rails are dead. Where's the good luck? 
she wore me out last night and many more. So, I mean, even just one of those little ideas, you know, um, can see is get to getting you going with some ideas on what you can put, you know. Um, so it's great. I think there's, there's a lot of ideas in here. And actually, I, I don't even know a lot of pool lingo. Yeah, I play pool for fun and recreation, but um, just to get all these ideas are pretty, really cool. Um, let me see here. Love with the eight ball. That's kind of cool. And you could, and what's cool about this could be scaled. You can put that with every ball, you know. So, something to think about. Maybe I'll make that scaled design. You know, who knows? Let's see. Um, it can be an awesome spectator sport depending on who's bending over the table. <laughs> oh, great. Let's talk more chalk. More of those. Um. Let's see here. Pool hall junkie. Sleep with the pool girl. You'll be by you'll be amazed by the way we show it. Oh my gosh. These are getting crazy. Old pool players never die. They just scratch a lot. That's funny. Uh see look, there's there are tons of things in here just to just to go through here. I don't need therapy. I just need to play pool. Um just another beer drinker with a pool problem. He got the stick. I got the rack. Um, quit talking and start shocking. I think that was that one up there. And look, this it was almost like somebody took that idea and just made a really cool design out of it. You know, so you know, that's that's what you got to do. You got to um, get these and just make your own ideas out of them. So. Let's see here. What else we can find? Normally, I'm a better player, but uh, I haven't slept in days. Uh, stupid tables, crooked. I didn't bring my own cue. There you go. You could you could actually do that. You're like, um, today's not my day, or today's not my pool day, or uh, my hands are sweaty. You know, excuses. You know, you could make a whole scale of excuses church shirts you know related to pool maybe you could have like the same graphic and something that's some way you can scale it right there that's an idea um let's go down here and see what else there is you could always come up with the phrase and for pool and maybe one of these uh chalk it or or even something that relates to pool, and you could change the letters with the pool balls. There's an idea for you. And that could be scaled too. So, um, just like the love, but come up with your own phrase that have to do with change the O to the pool balls. So, there you go. Today's Good Mood is sponsored by Billiards and Beer. Um, let me see here. Never underestimate the power of a woman with pool skills. That one can be all kinds of sports. You could be like, never underestimate the power of a woman with dart skills, with, you know, cornhole skills, you know, all the all the crazy games, ping pong skills, you know, tons of tons of things. There's tons of ways you can scale off, um, make designs here. So let's just keep going, you know, and um, what you do is you get all these designs or you get all these ideas. Hopefully you're writing them down <laughs> or hopefully you'll go and write them down. And then the next step is to maybe, you know, come up. How can you take these ideas and how can you make them your own and then make sure you always check for trademark. Um, I was talking to my brother yesterday about some shirts and um, he used to um, in college he came up with his own shirt company and he had like this one shirt that they uh, trademarked and stuff but um, he was trying to give me phrases for shirts and I'm like he said a phrase and I go you can't do that that one's trademarked and he didn't have no clue yet. really and I'm like yeah so just because he thought it was an original phrase it really wasn't and he needed to check you need to make sure and check 
every um, phrase you have for trademark because for trademark because you don't want to design a shirt and then put put it up and then have it get taken down because of trademark. You know, there's no reason to go all about that. Keep calm and run the table. There you go. Um, some great ideas here. Ooh, I like that Nintendo table right there. It's kind of cool. Let's see here. There's a pool ball lamp. If they don't play pool in heaven, then I'm not going. Oh my goodness. I got a new pool table. My wife, best trade I ever made. The silly ones, man. People like silly ones. Um, let's see here. I think we're getting away from the pool, but we'll we'll go back. We'll go back up here. And that was just under one of those here. So let me um how about man cave right here? Let's see if we can find any for man cave. Rack 'em and crack 'em. That's a good one right here. Rack 'em and crack 'em. Let's go back to the results here. Um Rack it and crack it. I'm just going through here, you know, this is easy, easy research, you know, it doesn't have to be so hard to, um, when you're out researching and let, let me just go here. Let me go to, um, let me see here, merch research.com. I don't know if you've ever been to that site, merch research.com. It's owned by Merch Informer. But it's free to use down here. You don't have to call, lock in the you don't have to log in the Merchant Former, but you can. But you can just come right here, type in Billards, and then just type in search T-shirts. And this is all the Amazon or merch by Amazon shirts over Billards. Look, there's only 272, so that's pretty good of just merch by Amazon. I don't know how many there is in um, Amazon. Else there is on Amazon, but um, as you can see, look at these uh, BSRs. They're really low. One million six hundred thousand two hundred forty two hundred forty five. Um, so yeah, one of your sh one of those shirts that we just came up with, you know, could easily compete with um, these shirts. You know, make a design, have a designer, you know, design your shirts for you. Uh, here's something simple. Look, you put a like a little. Had an orange and the the orange shirt with the five. You know that's that's clever. It's very clever. You know for Halloween or something. Um, so I kind of kind of brought you here just so you can look at the ranks. A um, lot of opportunity here for these ones that are just uh, seven hundred thousand a million. And so it looks like it's a very popular uh, category. Let me see if I if one of my shirts is in here. I have a shirt in here. Probably that's. Selling. If I can show you, maybe I can show you. I haven't seen it yet. It's not on the first page. So, but it, I have some, I have like four or five shirts that are pool shirts that sell pretty good. So, and they're not even in the top, um, you know, I haven't even seen them yet. So, there, it's just an idea for you. Look at that one. That one's really cool. Um, an A ball with the Santa hat. That one could be scaled. Um, you know, instead of putting a Santa hat, think of other hats you could put on for Christmas or Halloween for like witches or for like a Halloween. You could put like a witch hat on there. Here, let's click on that. You could like a witch hat. You could do um, an elf hat. You could do Santa hat on all of them. Um, you could do uh, baseball hats. You know, different different type of hats um, can go on it. You know, maybe football helmets. You know, you can mix the niches, you know. So, lots of ideas for that. That's a great idea. So, um, you know, hopefully one of you guys will go take it and go scale that up. 
And so let's just let's just kind of go through here. We're just we're just doing research. This is you know, I know that a lot of people don't like to do research, but hey, that's like a big part of uh, making sales is doing your research first. So. All right, let's let's talk more more chalk. I mean, there's a ton of these about chalk on here. Got chalk. You know what? I'm I haven't even seen um one of my shirts again. Like I said, and I I sell I sell pool shirts and I they're not even they're not even um on here like right away in these pages. They're not even on the what this is like the first four pages. Yep, they're not even. It's not even on here, and it's still getting sales. So uh, don't be alarmed or don't be afraid when you're looking up your shirt and it's not on the first four pages. Uh, you know that doesn't mean anything really. You know because people are gonna find your shirt. People are gonna find it. You know they might even be uh, searching for those phrases. So you might billard chalk. Um, you know what was that other one that says rack or something? And what if you'll notice that the um, volume is getting really lower. It's only 100, 107 now. So you can come down here and find a designer to make, um, you know, some of these designs are not even that good. And, you know, you can come and take over the market, you know, so on these on these designs. So, yeah, so it's pretty simple, you know, five. Come to over here to merch you designs and you know come up and look up niches on the top and then just find one of these and then start um doing doing your research you know it's really it's really simple you know um let let's just do another one how about how about we do um let's see here something kind of weird something that we really um, I don't know. How about climbing? That's a something different here. How about climbing? Um, room decor. I actually like that, you know, because that, that's the ones where it shows you like signs and shows you different things, you know. So, care if there's anything. Climb every mountain. That's an on Etsy, but uh, that's just a poster. Wow, there's there's not a lot. Climb every mountain. The pain you feel today will be the strength you feel tomorrow. The best view comes after the hardest climb. Hey, there you go. I know you have uh, mounts to climb, but always stay humble and kind. Climb trees, play in the rain, ride bikes, splash in the puddles, build a fort, explore, make sand castles, catch a fish, sleep under the stars, um, be a superhero, dream big. Um, let me click on this one real quick. See if there's anything under here we can look at. There's actually not a lot of, I mean, choices. So maybe... That's a good idea. Maybe it's not as saturated. We'll have to check. Let's go back over here and check over here at um on the merch research. So type in climbing. Well, it says there's over over a thousand results, so I don't know how many results there are, but there is a lot. But it looks like it's a uh, very Popular niche, there's a million, five hundred thousand, six hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand. Um, so maybe let me see here, go back to Pinterest again, and I don't know, climbing wall decor.
I keep seeing that one climb every mountain. I wonder um, if somebody climb every mountain. Yep, people are using that. There was only 23 shirts, actually. And they're kind of high rank. So maybe it's not. Um... Oh, there's that one. The best view comes after the hardest climb. Doesn't have any cells, but. Um... Let's see here. Climbing. It looks like a lot of them with the um, with the graphic are selling pretty good. If you just type in the word "climb," four hundred thirty-six results. Um, climb like a girl. Climb here, over here. Another graphic shirt. Um, more graphics. It seems like with this one, you need some graphics in there. And your your shirt will do better. That's what it looks like. So um, yeah, okay. Let's let's go to another one. Let's just keep looking. We don't have to stop there. Go over here. Go back to uh, Merchy Designs. Let's find something else. Um, let's see here. How about diving? How about maybe scuba diving? How about that? Let's type that in. Scuba diving. Scuba diving wall decor. Dive with the sharks. Future scuba diver. Someone born to dive. Eat, sleep, scuba. You know what? Those eat, sleep shirts, they really sell good. Eat, sleep, repeat, you know. I breathe underwater. What is your superpower? Again, we say, what's your superpower? Probably not to use that. Um, let's see here. Live to dive, dive to live. Money can't buy happiness, but it can buy dive gear, which is pretty much the same thing. It's pretty cool. Um, some girls go swimming. Real, real girls go scuba diving. Um, real women marry divers. Divers do it deeper. Underwater um, aqua. Aquanaut. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, there's a, actually that's a great idea for um if you can find words within a niche and use them you know like not not a cool you know and people use it as naughty you know stuff like that if you can find words in a niche and you know weave them into um a phrase sometimes those do really good let's see what else here Let's see if these shirts are selling on um, merch. Let's see here. Scuba diving. There's only 676 that are on merch. You know, that's not saying on Amazon. And look, 400,000, 1 million, 550. Oops. 400,000, uh, 1 million, 550. Let's look at this one. This one's pretty cool. I'm sorry if this is these are your shirts. I'm we're just looking, we're just doing research, you know. Um, we're just seeing what's out there. Let's see here. This one's been out since May. Okay. Right. So it looks like 
scuba diving is something to possibly get into. It looks like all of these shirts are selling really well, so um, if you can come up with a great design, it looks like you have a really good chance of selling it. So, you know, that's a that's good. You know, it's a great idea. But um, that's all I'm going to show you guys today. That is um, researching and looking on Pinterest. Um, so that's just another idea. Um, yesterday, if you watch yesterday's video, we did over Merch Informer. Um, tomorrow, um, we're going to work on another one. Maybe that'll be on Etsy or whatever. If you're looking for... So I have um, a Patreon account where um, it's all graphics. Pretty much you can come in there and get all these graphics for $15 a month. And um, you have access to all the graphics once you get in, once you become a Patreon. So um, I'll, I have a uh, Patreon in my uh, description. So make sure you check that out. It's just patreon.com um, forward slash Merch University. And I recently, yesterday I just put out a Christmas graphics and a few days before that, I put out some Halloween graphics, and then also I have some like camper graphics and beach graphics and tons of other graphics, baseball and sports and stuff. So uh, make sure you check those out, and um, I'll come out with another research video. I thank you guys for watching, and I hope this helps somebody. If you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below um, so I can help you guys out. And, you know, help you find research and, you know, find some shirts that you can get up. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Y'all have a great day.